I get it. There's a reason why you feel the way you feel. Because you know something ain't right with that situation. You know something's not right with that relationship. You've been in for a while. You keep accepting the other person's version of love. And you know it's not right. You know exactly right from wrong. You know exactly what it should feel like. But now you done got comfortable. Now you done got complacent. But you're not happy. Just because a person says, this is how it should be, does not mean that's how it should be. You're not a video game. So stop allowing yourself to be played. That person is not treating you right. But they expect you to accept it. And every time you try to stand up for yourself, they talk you out of standing up for you. They talk you in to accepting their version of love. So you're looking for peace and harmony. But y'all arguing every day. And then that person has nerve enough to tell you that's normal. That's what my parents used to do. That's what everybody around me used to do. No, it's not. It's not cool. If you guys can't get on one accord, then you really have nothing. It's just a matter of time. It's going to eventually end anyway. If you know in your heart of hearts that's not what you're looking for, don't let that person tell you that's normal. It's not normal. And if they're not willing to sit down with you and try to come up with some type of compromise, red flag. Reason for you to start creating an exit plan. Because when somebody truly loves you, truly cares about you, they make an effort, not an excuse. And right now, they got your head so far in the clouds, you don't even know what love really is. So it's time for you to remind yourself. I need you to do yourself a huge favor. Get a piece of paper and a pencil and write down five attributes that define love to you. Because when two people come together, they have their own experiences. But the best relationships are when those experiences meet and they mesh and they make sense. You can't even start to question. You can't even start the process of moving on. You can't even start the process of healing a relationship if you don't know what love is to you. So write down those five things right now. And then, on the other side, write down how many of them are present in your current relationship. And if you find out of that five, one or two are present, you have a problem, my friend. Stop allowing someone else to define what love is to you. Now you have a list. Now you know exactly what you're looking for. So now, this person is either gonna meet that or they're not. And it's okay if they don't. That just means they're not for you. And that's the whole purpose of this video anyway. The purpose of this conversation is for you to figure out, is this person for you? Are these people for you? The quicker you can make that decision, the quicker you can start planning your exit strategy. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to keep wasting time in a situation that's not going to be purposeful. You don't want to waste time in a situation that's not intentional. Because for you to be truly happy, you have to make sure that your life aligns with your feelings. You have to make sure that it aligns with your definition of love. Stop just being okay in a situation. Stop settling. Because guess what? Everything that's dead settles at the bottom. Stop settling. It's time for you to get busy living. It's time for you to be the happy person that you were born to be. So right now, once you start executing on what you know are the things that you love, you can go from crappy to happy. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. So the ball is in your court. I need you to make a play. I need you to make a move. I need you to make a decision. Because love should start in here. For so many of us, we're looking on the outside. But that's not going to last a lifetime. So now that you know what you want, now you can put yourself in a position not only to give it, but also receive it. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Love starts with you not the other person. 
Make sure they're meeting your requirements. This is a great day to win. Let's go.